Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David. Today we're going to go back to the Star Wars Diodostini Build Your Own X-Wing Kit because I've let like eight or nine packages pile up and I haven't given it the attention and the love that it deserves. So, uh, carved out a weekend. It took me a whole weekend because I had a lot to do and I have a ton of pictures and footage to show you even some high speed video footage that's right as exciting as that is because i took some turns some spills i put some things on backwards of course i put things in the wrong place things fell off and uh i've had labor difficulties of every kind let's go to the footage All right, we're gonna try to go through a whole bunch of issues today, 25 to 36. So this is gonna be issue 25 that we're gonna start with. And the article on the inside is about Garvin Dries, the old man from the original A New Hope. And there's this picture, and there's the little parts that I get to build today. The engine casing and the fission chamber upper half. There's also a fission chamber mounting and some plant on details that are a lot of fun. And I know that when I put these two things together, uh, you're never going to see them, right? So here's all the tiny little microscopic pieces that have to go like this. And this is what I start with. And this is how it looks when it's all done. So that was issue 25. Issue 26 Here's the cover and the, the little pieces that come inside the article. Inside this one is about Poe Dameron. I don't know why they did a cartoon version of him and not the actual pictures of him. There's also some stuff in here about the sublight engines, which I think is kind of cool. That's a rad picture. And then on the inside, I get all these fun pieces, which is the fission chamber upper half. There's a turbo generator rear cone that I get to play with. And again, it's probably going to be hidden inside. All this beautiful detail is going to get lost. Uh, this is the turbo impeller and the turbo impeller blades. I got to stick each one of those on individually. And again, look, it just goes inside this housing and then uh, nobody ever sees it again. Issue 27, here's the parts that come with it. Uh, the article on the inside of this one is about Sacy Tin. Uh, he's a Jedi, and I believe he's only in the cartoon. And here's all the pieces that came with this. This is all going to be the lower port engine stuff. So lower engine casing, the thrust nozzle, the locking collar. There's going to be some LED work that we're going to do. There's a reflector. There's a lens. Again, putting all the little detail work on it, it's going to look like that. And then I got the beautiful uh, thrust nozzle that goes on the back side. This is what's going to light up. And then um, this is the reflector. This is what's going to make the LED bright when it shines. And this is kind of what it looks like as it's going together. I'm going to put uh, all of that inside of this. So again, all of that detail gets lost. It's all hiding inside of this. This is what the light looks like. The LED light looks like when it's on. So this is the rear engine, of course. Just wanted to show you that. Issue 28, we're going to start, and this has an article about uh, K2SO from uh, Rogue One. And the inside of this is going to be all of the lower port wing mounts. So again, a ton of little small pieces. Here they all are. They're going to go into this section here of the bottom of the wing. And if I flip it over to the other side, it looks like this. This is mostly um, brackets that we're putting in place now, engine mount braces, uh, another laser cannon LED cable that has to wrap all the way around, and that's why you see that black tape, because I'm holding the LED cable in place, and then I have to uh, screw all these, these little um, pieces down, which takes us to issue 29. Here's all the pieces that come with issue 29, and the article inside this one is about the X-Wing and um, building the, li the large model. Again, we're going to look at lower port engine things. These are all part of the power input unit upper half. And all the pipework detail 
Notice this is what it looks like, and the one next to it is the completed one. That's all the detail you end up seeing. So I'd rather work on this because um, it's easier. So <laughs> I built this one instead, and then I finished uh, one full wing, and then the wing next to it is the one I'm working on. Throw it all back in the box and say, you know what, I'm going to come back to it at another time because that was enough for one day. And again, one part done with no gun, still haven't put the engine inside. Then I thought, you know what, I'll do that video where uh, you build at hyperspeed and you get to watch the model builder uh, build the parts. And I tried it for a couple of issues, didn't really love it. We're going to be looking at uh, issues 30, 31, and 32 in this box. Issue 30 is the first one. There's a little article about Han Solo uh, from his first film. And then we're working on the lower port wing in this episode. Uh, the engine cover, the upper skin, and some cover plugs, and the trailing edge support. Uh, and this was my idea, you know, just film it with one shot, and then watch me build it at hyperspeed. But what I realized was I, I'm not a good model builder, and so my building doesn't make for very entertaining uh, video footage to watch. So I didn't do a lot of this, um, mostly because I make a lot of mistakes when I build. I make a lot of mistakes. Um, I drop a lot of stuff. Here's me just kind of like fumbling about. Notice I had to take it all back apart, put it all back together again because I did it wrong. I do that too. Uh, I put things together uh, either too quickly or I don't understand the directions and I put it together upside down. Um, Here's me trying to figure out how to get the black tape out of the way that I put down earlier because it was starting to show through some of the paneling. And yeah, I, I drop screws on the ground and lose them. Um, I put things on upside down or I put things on backwards and then I have to take it all back apart again. And uh, in this one, this is uh, issue 31 with Rick Olay. Uh, he's the guy that flew uh, Podme's uh, ship. And in this uh, one, we're going to do the red five uh, wing markings. So the striped cannon, um, the lower skin, the inner edging strip, and the outer edging strip. It's kind of hiding all the, the detail, or not hiding the detail, it's hiding all the mechanics, it's hiding all the screws, and making it look pretty so it has like a smooth underbelly. And here's me trying to figure out how to put the gun on because, again, I just didn't read the directions about where the screws went and I was confused about laying the wire flat and getting it in the first time. And it's not really me going too fast. I'm not trying to go too fast and I'm not impatient. I think I'm just, I'm just a poor model builder. That's really all it is. And I get this, I don't know if model building is supposed to be relaxing, but it ends up being like, uh, almost frustrating for me and I end up getting really tense and because I want it to come out right and then you know pieces either fall off halfway through or uh, it doesn't come out it doesn't come out the way I want or it's super loose and I was just showing you what the two wings looked like side by side then laying the outer skin on and there's me trying to get rid of that black tape out of the way and it was really a bear trying to snap this piece down just trying to lay it flat uh, LED wire underneath there kept poking out and made it really bubbly, but I finally got it to snap down in place. So there's the two wings side by side. They look, how many, I wonder how many more wings I have to build. Yeah, two more. Ugh. So here's a video footage of what they look like side by side. Totally beautiful. I mean, the model's gorgeous and those wings are really heavy. Like these two wings alone are heavy. So I can't wait to find out how much the whole thing's going to weigh all together. This is issue 32, and the article inside is about Jessica Pava. Um, you can tell me what episode she was in. I'm not really sure. So again, we're doing the upper port laser cannon, the laser jacket, the laser cannon housing, and some fuselage side arms, building that striped cannon that um, Luke had on his X-Wing. Then we're also going to extend the frame. So this is back to the canopy and the frame of the actual body. I haven't touched these parts in a really long time. 
And this was uh, a lot of work too for me, frustrating because trying to find the right screws. And then uh, I even, I think I put those, I, when I originally put those screws in, I got them in backwards, so that wasn't good. Then I got another box in the mail and I had uh, some more issues to put together, issues 33 through 36. This is the box came in. It was all damaged. And then I got this. I have no idea what to do with this. It's a charging piece, but none of the issues said what I was gonna do with it yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, issue 33 has uh, more from Han Solo on the inside, and then these are the parts that came with issue 33. And these are all gonna be for the upper port laser cannon. So more work on building the cannon and more particularly the LED part that goes in. So the LEDs in the front there, the little LED wires coming out the back. And uh, when I added the back side right there, uh, you probably can't see it, but I didn't push it in all the way. So and it's too long right now. And it's gonna be frustrating when I try to stick the two things together. This is the laser canning housing inner half. And then the there's what the gun looks like next to it. Then issue 34 has an article in there about Elo Asti. And then in this one, those are the parts. There's another article in here about attacking star killer base, which is cool. And this is more of the upper port laser cannon and the fuselage frame cross members. So building the tip of the gun, this is the rectangular flange and the suppressor mount. So I lit it up for you so you could see what the LED looks like. This is what it looks like inside the gun. I'm putting it all together and notice the little LEDs lit at the end. So this is what the guns look like when they're all lit up. Issue 35, this had an article in it about Taliesin Tally Lintra another female pilot, which is awesome. And this one uh, was the cockpit canopy hydraulic system. And this one uh, was probably the worst one out of all the episodes I've done so far because I had a stick, these are pieces, not screws. I mean, the screws up to the side, but these are little tiny, oh, they're, they're so small. So they go in here. So they're hinges that go in the canopy and there's a locking pin that has to go through uh, a little hinge and I lost one forever and it's gone completely. This I built wrong too, which is awesome. Uh, I had to take this completely apart because uh, didn't, I put the flat edges on the wrong side and didn't realize it until I got to issue 36. So issue 36 is when you put it all together and there's an article in here about Rio Durant from the Han Solo movie. And then you get more of these pieces which uh, extend the cockpit and frame parts the, this is the targeting uh, computer and the life support console. And I see that it's in the front of the cockpit. And this is what it looks like when you put the rear end and the top end together. And uh, that's me finished. So these are all the pieces I am left with at the end of my build so far. That was like 10, what, 10, 10 issues. And so these are all my pieces. And of course, looking at all of this, you can see how much longer I have to go. So that's all for today. Bye.